So uh, Claudia told me that it's always sunny in Leicester. <laughs> and the cooks have a little nugget inside. You just place them here to make it automatically recognized. Can we just uh, get a bit closer? Because I've never seen anything like this before. What should a modern university look like? Everyone has their own criteria and thoughts about it. For someone, it is important that there was a lot of greenery and comfort. For someone, it is convenient navigation and beautiful design. For someone, it is equipped lecture halls and laboratories. Today, we will show you how the campus of a modern university in England looks like University of Leicester. And as we found out during our visit, the University of Leicester campus has a little bit of everything from the above list, and everyone will find something for themselves here. So let's get acquainted with our today's tour guides. Will, high five. <laughs> International College, Ashton, the colleague of Will, high five. And Claudia, are you the second year or the no, first, the first year? year? The first year. But you uh, went through the foundation yes, course. Okay, I did. excellent. And guys kindly agreed to show me around the campus today. So this is the main campus of university. Okay, let's go in. Let's go in. And this is the entrance, yeah? This is the entrance the majority of the students use, yes. And this is, uh, uh, University of Leicester is a very high-rated university in the yes. UK, isn't it? Yes. University of Leicester is in the top 200 universities in the world. Is it considered to be a research university? Yes, so this is one of the leading research universities based in the UK. Okay. Um, depending on which ranking list you look at, we're, we're either sort of 30th or 27th, depending on, but we're consistently highly ranked um, and leading research as well as scientific breakthroughs uh, been discovered at this university. So. I've read something to do with uh, genetical printing or something, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's, that's right. So, um, yes, DNA fingerprinting was actually DNA, discovered. Yeah, exactly. By the biological sciences school at the university, which is, you know, some techniques that are commonly used in, uh, in. The University of Leicester is where DNA fingerprinting was invented. So things like biochemistry, is biochemistry, um, biological sciences, is very strong at university. Very, very strong at the university. You will find top ten rankings for the UK. Excellent. Everyone in England knows the University of Leicester as a leading British research university. The university has received the prestigious Times Higher Education Award seven times in a row. And despite the fact that Will mentioned only biological sciences, the university also has many other top departments with excellent training of specialists. Among them, there are both humanities and natural sciences, as well as engineering and physics specialties, and of course, business and management. And you know, I love this. Uh, what are they used for? Square. Just no, no, no. I mean those. Uh, we, we call it. In, I'm originally from Kazakhstan. <laughs> in Kazakhstan, we call it yurta. Okay. okay. A hangout spot for our students. Um, Can we just uh, get a bit closer? Because I've never seen anything like this before. And uh, the idea of uh, having it completely transparent is is it, <laughs> weatherproof. Weatherproof. Exactly. It's very good for England, isn't it? Really good. Especially on a day like uh -huh. These guys are glass yurts. Kazakhs give a like to this video. Who has not seen glass yurts? Write in the comments. Okay, and what is this? Um, what, what does it symbolize? It's another bit of... I mean, this, bathroom. yeah, this art. Let's go. Honest with you, you have no idea. <laughs> that is okay. All right. Okay. It's just a symbol from the university. We have a couple more statues down there. Mm -hmm. It looks like a symbol of engineering, I, I guess, so. with the, yeah. the, the sort of the icons on it. it, it yes, that is the engineer building opposite to it. Mm -hmm. You mean that that tall building over there? Okay. And the, what's uh, with this uh, chilling kind of thing? What is this? I would say it's something to do with engineering. Engineering as well. I cannot tell you. Adil regretted after the tour that during his time studying in England, he had chosen a different specialty, finding the experience very exciting, as well as conducted a tour of the laboratories and showed all the equipment, sophisticated machines and devices that the Faculty of Engineering at the University of Leicester has. These guys are glass yurts. Kazakhs give a like to this video. 
who has not seen Glass Yurts? Write in the comments. We also recommend checking out the other episodes where he explores dorms and the student union. Additionally, we conducted interviews with representatives from the International Study Center, which assists international students in gaining admission to the University of Leicester. And what, what course do you do? Psychology. Psychology, excellent. Yes. Psychology can be used in many different fields. Exactly. Yeah, you don't have to be a psychiatrist or psychologist when you graduate, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> you can go into business, you can go into politics, international relations. To go more into sports. Even that, but yeah. <laughs> sports <laughs> psychology. Yeah, yeah, I sports psychology. my entire life, so it just makes sense. What do you me. do? Uh, I did martial arts, I did Muay Thai and kickboxing All for right. eight years. So it's, it's very uh, important uh, for martial artists. Yes to have a right state of mind, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really good. It helps us just keep mm. our mind in the game. And... You get any squirrels here? No? Yes, yeah. loads of them. It's so cute. And foxes as well. And what is this used for? This is a little set that we use when we have campus stores. That we have students come along and they have to pre-book it. So they just come here and say, hey, I'm here, I arrived. We just check them as arrived and then we put them all together as a group. And then they proceed with their campus tours. Okay, it's for the campus tours, yes. okay. And I'm lucky to have in an individual campus <laughs> tour with Claudia. Yes. I have never been there before, because uh -huh. I'm not a law student. Okay. But this is one of our oldest well, buildings. Well, it's mm -hmm. original from the main campus. You see, the other ones have uh -huh. been built afterwards. But this one has been built for mm -hmm. ages. And by the, the classic architecture. Yes. So, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah cool. it is. It's it is. Beautiful. It is beautiful, yeah. And by the way, we have checked and visited all the educational institutions that we offer to our clients in Mariadi, and we personally know their representatives. We have already helped hundreds of children and young people to find their vocation and an educational institution that would be 200% suitable for them. And we appreciate them and your trust. We will be happy to help you with your choice and enrollment, as well as with all the difficulties that await you on the way to obtaining a cherished foreign diploma. All our consultations are absolutely free and you can get them by leaving an application back to campus. I just want to have a selfie on this bench. Okay, sure. I have no idea who, who these dudes are, but <laughs> why not? It's probably first graduates of university, I think. Yeah, it looks yeah? like it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, so this is obviously in celebration of the 100 years. Yeah, of the 100 years. Okay, so 100 years. Yeah, 1921 yes. it was fond funded. So this is the first class I graduated. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the first graduating class, summer 20, 1922. 1922. 1922, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I guess these Anniversary? exhibits here, it's all celebrating mm -hmm. the uh, anniversary. It's the different centuries. accomplishments that the university has had across their 100 years. Mm -hmm. So each yeah. one of them has a little, it's a different story, either a building that was founded or something mm -hmm. that they create, for example, the fingerprints that they discovered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, has a lot of information about everything that we've accomplished so far. Okay. Yeah, so this is, um, is this a place where students might have a, a talk or something? Yes. Uh, I would say usually when there is a campus tour or an open day and we have a big audience, they are brought out here first and then they just, if it's sunny, <laughs> in the days that we get lucky, they just come around here. Um, we have the tables as well so that they can take a seat, mm -hmm. just have some drinks, talk. Probably at university nice. open days as well, yes, yeah? Exactly. Oh, that's very good, it's okay. We have some rose bushes. This, these are roses. Right? I think so. Yeah, they're yes. not in bloom at the moment. Yeah, but they will soon. Will soon. Soon. Yeah. 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 Spring is coming. <laughs> yeah. We can't wait for the good weather. It's March already. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've read that uh, at University of uh, Leicester you have over two hundred different societies. Yeah. Crazy. It's really good. We have a bit of everything for every taste. So, we have football. We have rugby. We have volleyball. Mm -hmm. Then we also have history societies, mm -hmm. we have psychology, so we have a society for each department that the university has, which is Great. pretty good. It's not all about studying and studying, right? No, no, definitely not. We do try to incorporate some fun. Mm -hmm. uh, each society has their own socials every week to ensure that students are meeting, making friends, mm -hmm. just meeting new people. You have to have a proper 
student experience, no? Yes. Are you enjoying your experience? I am enjoying my experience a lot. I'm actually planning on starting my own society next year. Oh, which wow. is? Um, Muay Thai and kickboxing. Wow. So what belt are you? Uh, I never got my graduation, so I never got a belt. Oh, yeah? I just fought. Um, but if I was to... Can you, can you kick high? I can. <laughs> can you show us? Oh, wow. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> can you do the back kick? Wow! Are oh, you not that back kick? Can you do the back kick? No? no? <laughs> I'm gonna get out of the way. Wow! Oh, careful, careful. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Thank you for that. Being a member of a club or community is, as the English say, a must if you want to experience student life in England at 100%. And also have fun, and most importantly, spend your time in a useful way. All our consultations are absolutely free, and you can get them by leaving an application via the link in the description or writing to us in a convenient way for you. Back to campus. So where are we going next? And what is this uh, funny looking building? Ah, this is an engineering block. part of the engineering building. And then back there, we have the college that is no longer part of the university. Mm. Uh, our university um, offers some of our buildings so that the college students can have their classes. Okay. Right. The international college will be moving down onto yes. campus from September as well. So students who are coming uh, to do an international foundation yes. on Chesna Year One, like, like Claudia did. Um, you did international year one? Yes. Or foundation? foundation. Oh, you did foundation. Yeah. But you do for international year one as we well. We also do international year one that's as well. Good. And that's all at the Global Study Centre. But the Global Study Centre will be moving down onto campus for September 2022. So international students who even come to do the foundation will feel like full mm. students uh, as soon as they get onto campus. Guys, after watching this video, follow the link in the description. Our interview with Will will be talking about international uh, year one programs and foundation of international center. Okay. It is good to mention that this is the main campus, but we also have uh, other buildings spread across. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the medical building, like five minutes away from here, and then we have other buildings spread across the city. Oh, right, okay. The majority of the classes are held here. 99% of the classes are held here and in the medical building, which is just across the street. Mm -hmm. But if you have a specific talk or you're going to meet a specific tutor, they might be spread across the city in their own department. Mm -hmm. So it is, it, uh, it is really good. Sorry. It, it's good. It's okay. As you can see, we was not very lucky with the weather on this visit, but in general, the main thing is the right attitude. And as the saying goes, there is no bad weather in Great Britain, only badly dressed people. So uh, Claudia told me that it's always sunny in Leicester. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me unlucky, really. Yeah? It was just today, I promise. Yeah? It was sunny yesterday. <laughs> it was very sunny yesterday. It will be sunny tomorrow. It will be sunny tomorrow. And I traveled two hours here from London <laughs> and it started to rain. How unlucky this is. But I'm so used to the British weather. <laughs> so the campus is next to the Victoria Park. Yes, How big is the park? The Victoria park. It's, it's, it's quite as big. big as, as the campus. Really? Yes. It's not as big as they look as, as a London Victoria Park, no? no. <laughs> Do you have any animals there, like squirrels? No? We have a lot of squirrels. Yeah. And uh, if you are, if you go out at night and you're coming back really early in the morning, mm -hmm. you get to see some foxes as well. And foxes as well. Lester okay. is known Lex by their foxes. They are called the Le the Lester foxes. All right, I didn't so. know that. Okay. <laughs> well, after walking around the campus, let's warm up in the modern university library. And uh, you can use this... Uh... Machines are whenever a student needs to request an office book. So just come here and the books have a little magnet inside. You just place them here. The machine mm -hmm. automatically recognizes them. And then you just put in your scanning your student, your student card. Mm -hmm. And then it goes automatically to your account. You get a receipt on which books you took, yeah. how long you can have them for. And then when you need to return them, you can just put them back. And just it's very close, isn't it? Down there. When they... A little hall window. Oh, uh, right, okay. So you basically check it in and yes. and throw it inside. Okay, cool, cool, okay. Do you want to go upstairs? Go and go upstairs, okay, not good. Look at this. It's a nice east storm, isn't it? Yeah, that's why I said from upstairs. Yeah, it will be a better view. Let's go upstairs. Coordinators. Uh -huh. Each department has a different color mm -hmm. so that if you need to look for a specific book, mm -hmm. you'll know exactly where to go to. Okay. 
So down there is gyrology and history. If I'm not wrong, and we also have an area for staff members and postgraduate students. Mm-hmm. So down those doors, only postgraduate students or staff members can go in mm-hmm. if they need some quiet space. Because even though it's in the library, sometimes you can get a bit busy. So it is good for staff to have their own space. Rena, cool. You too. We have loads of computers as well, so that mm-hmm. our students don't have to bring their own. Um, mm-hmm. As you can see, even upstairs. So in modern libraries, there's still some books. Definitely. Definitely. We still use them. I've uh, used them myself. And I think it's a compulsory to use some of the my resources. So we use proper books. Yes. Or it's not compulsory. Our university has an online library, so all the books that we have in here, physical copies, we also have them digitalized online you so you don't it. have to come down here and actually use them you can if you want this is I've sad it's, but it's really nice to use a book but it's also nice because we only have maybe one two or three copies of each I book see. and there are like 300 students in my department alone mm-hmm. so we can't all have a physical copy so it's really nice that we have the opportunity to have it online as well this university is very modern we really liked everything about it when Adil was getting his higher education he was also a member of several communities if you are interested in which ones, we will be happy to tell you about that in person. We hope you found it interesting. So don't spare a like and also subscribe to our channel. We don't say goodbye. See you in new episodes.